Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Inked Reader. My name is Eva and today I just wanted to kind of give you a very brief life update and what I'm gonna do next year in terms of my reading plans. Now, this video is not gonna be too long, hopefully, because the plan is not to have plans, <laughs> basically. So I'll just you know i tend not to share too much on this channel this is not that kind of channel if you want i'm just here to speak about you know the books i love or i don't love and about maybe things i watched and comics but i also feel responsible to those who have been with me in this small community for a while now to explain why my videos have become a bit more erratic in the upload or how come this year specifically i actually struggle to finish my tbrs every month no month <laughs> in 2023 i managed to read all the things I wear on my TBR. I did manage for comics, definitely not for books, which makes sense because a comic you read in an hour or less, while a book it takes many hours. So the life update parts is that it, I've been working more, so I've been working eight to six, four days a week because I'm keeping one day off because I am back in school. Um, so I am starting now a diploma slash second master and I did finish my other master in 2021 and I decided for weather reason that career-wise I needed to start thinking about becoming actually a therapist officially and so I have been now enrolling I've, I've started in September my diploma slash master in psychotherapy so when you train in UK to become a psychotherapist is a four slash five years process part of this process is that you have to do peer group supervisions you have to do your own therapy to have presentations you have essays you go to school one weekend so a weekend every three weeks or four weeks i am the full weekend away at school morning to night basically and that is taking away a lot of time and from spring 2024 i will start also providing three therapy in order to qualify so that's why i'm taking i'm working longer hours uh, because i'm keeping one day a week off so i can actually go and do my uh, required hours to then qualify. So basically I am some days, some weeks, I go to school in the weekend, on Monday we'll have to do my hours of free therapy to qualify and then Tuesday to Friday I work longer hours and then let's start again. So you can imagine that I've been busy and you can imagine that having um, a family and a young child, I also dedicate all my free time when she's awake to her. Uh, I try to do things with her and just spend quality time with her and so the reading side of things is literally it's literally either the weekends where i'm not in school or maybe an hour a night before i collapse in bed tired so this is what's been happening i am working full time i am doing a master and i'm just spending time with family at times with friends when i really can i am also something that i've been doing recently and i'm really proud of myself for that is that sometimes when i feel like it, i sit down and i keep writing a story that I had in my mind and I wanted to write. It might take me ages. I don't have any goals specific in mind. I don't plan to, I mean, I gave up on becoming an author a long time ago, but it's just something, it's a story that's in my mind and I want to jot it down. So I am dedicating some hours to maybe doing that. I am sometimes so exhausted because if I'm not working, then I might be on books because of school that I don't want to pick up another book. So sometimes I might just watch a uh, true crime or a TV show. And that's what I've been doing at uh, times. So my reading has decreased. I'm also trying to keep up somehow a video every few days, weeks, every few weeks. I'm trying to keep up my YouTube channel as much as possible and it is just a lot and some weeks I feel overwhelmed, some weeks I feel sad because I feel like I can't do everything I'm supposed to um, and and some weeks I'm particularly ashing myself and some weeks I don't have a video up but again it's what it is and things are gonna get better I am doing all things I love doing but every time, every single minute of my life in you know since september and it will be for the next four years probably is timed like i got half an hour to do this i got an hour to do this i got uh work 8 to 6 p.m and the rest is always time like you know maybe 6 to 7 it's studying and doing the say and then 7 is dinner where there is so my life as many of us as many of our lives at the moment is quite stressful and my reading has taken a deep dive because of that i do miss reading i just find myself at four times again as i said just simply exhausted 
to read because I need to read for my school as well uh, that I I just need to watch something or do crochet now or do something else uh, so yeah comic wise also I think like I'd want to read a lot of comics but then that takes away from reading the books and then I feel guilty because I couldn't read the books so it's been a bit of a spiral some days I'm okay some days I'm very happy and cheerful despite everything some days I'm just a bit more harsh on myself but at the same time I'm fully conscious this is my choice it was my choice to do this and I am generally loving everything it's just when you don't have much free time and you, you need to prioritize and do things it can get stressful it's just normal um, so yeah I'm excited about the future but also I am under pressure basically that's what I wanted to share and so apologies if some videos are not gonna be as regular as they used to do before I also decided now to do um, season highlights kind of cramming together what I watched uh, t activities that I've tried and enjoyed uh, my favorite movies and stuff like that rather than doing what I watched recently videos or more structured these videos like that I want to be a bit more freelancer with my videos in that sense and whatever comes naturally but let's talk about reading and the reason probably you are watching this so what I'm gonna do with my reading now this year uh, after two years of shelf TBR uh, link it down below because for two years basically I would pick a random number I gave to my shelves behind me a number picked a random one each month and I would have to read all the unread books on that shelf or attempt to read all of those books now the first year the books I couldn't get hold to they kind of kept accumulating the second year I started you know this planning of going to school in September and everything and so I just said no it's not gonna happen anymore so we just put those books that I couldn't get around to read back now this year I'm gonna name this year 2024 the year where I read that I want okay they are not gonna be TBRs uh, I'm just gonna say I am not gonna do TBRs I'm gonna try to do my fairy loot unboxings and those books I'm gonna try to read because those are new releases and are books that many people are reading at the same time so I think like it would make sense to try and read those books at the time when they come out or as as soon as possible since they come out so kind of be part of that community keeping up to date with a bit more um, new releases and stuff like that so I will have my favorite unboxings regularly on my channel and those will be like my official books I will try to read for the next month but for the rest and I just wanna go th with the flow I'm just gonna I do tend to read nowadays three books at the same time otherwise I notice I struggle to finish a book more so I pick up three books usually from my pile of TBR and start them at the same time and usually I if I can read an hour and a half before falling asleep I tend to like give half an hour to each book and if a book holds my attention more I would just focus on that book and finish that book but basically what I'm gonna do is depending on the weeks days where there is time for me to pick up a new book I'm just gonna go through the shelves and read whatever I want okay and then you're gonna see my wrap-ups so I'm not gonna have TBRs anymore and I'm gonna do the same for comics if one month I want to binge a series I'm just gonna binge a, seri a series and then maybe do a whole review on my channel I do not want to put pressure on myself on having strict TBRs anymore because I've noticed that this year failing them miserably month after month and it's an added self-made pressure which I don't need I need to take care of my mental well-being in that sense it's not a big deal it's not that deep but I kind of don't like not finishing stuff so I want to be a bit more chilled with that I'm gonna do wrap-ups at the end of the month for comics and for books I'm just not gonna do the TBR anymore for this year let me try and then I also I'm curious to see what kind of mood reader I am and if we can see any pattern and themes some months I might be like I just I just want to read horror and blood because I'm so stressed or some months I'm a bit more into fantasy I don't know I want to go with my mood for after two years of strict TBRs and we're just gonna go with what I feel like doing that moment and find out what's gonna happen because since I started this channel I always had to be arsed I always try to stick to certain rules I made up for myself so I'm gonna try and actually challenge myself to not have rules this year I do have my fantasy TBR which I started ages ago and it was about reading a book in every genre of fantasy and I am not even halfway through or maybe halfway through that so I do wanna finish that TBR 
I think that it's, it's very funny. I love fantasy in general. So that is the only TBR I will have for this year. Or maybe I can come up with some local uh, TBR for specific months. But in general, it's going to come natural this year. I do also like the idea of recommending specific books, like maybe talking about, you know, my favorite urban fantasy, my favorite horror, stuff like that. So I'm still gonna upload as much as I can, but if you don't see me for a couple of weeks, you know that I am just busy with life. And let me know in the comments down below what you kind of what kind of videos would you wish to see from me if you wish to see something from me specifically maybe not but if you do let me know i do want to do some spoilery reviews for comic series and stuff like that because i think that generates more discussion and to be fair that's the plan that's a very chilled plan <laughs> but yeah guys if you're new i would love for you to subscribe see how this new journey is gonna be for me join this small community comment down below leave a comment let's chat down below in the comments and yeah for those who have been here by any chance for the last year of a survey maybe shelf tbr are you excited that I finished my shelf TBR? I don't know, <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry for the delay in putting this up, I think it was due. Thank you so much for those who had stayed and commented in the, you know 2023 specifically. Uh, sometimes reading your comments made it worth for me, you know, the time I dedicate to these and just made me feel better. So I always love engaging with you and finding your very kind and informative comments. But yeah, guys, take care of yourself. I'll see you in my next video. And yes, I'm gonna still do my favorite of the year and least favorite and so on. And so yeah, stay tuned for that coming up probably at the beginning of January. Said that, I hope you take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Ciao.